Hey, it's Nathan with Crazy Eye Marketing. In this video, we're gonna set up a one-click upsell option with Kartra. Now I'm gonna do this from scratch, so I'm gonna set up the pages and the products and connect everything together, so that way you see everything from start to finish. So this video might be a little long, but I wanna make sure that I cover everything, so that way, if you're trying to set up a one-click upsell with Kartra, you'll be good to go. So this is the funnel we're gonna build, if you wanna call it a funnel. We got our order form, we're gonna do an OTO, which is there gonna be our one-click upsell, and it will bring them to an order success page. So let's head over to Kartra and set up our pages real quick. And I'm just gonna set up basic template pages, nothing super, I'm not gonna customize anything is what I'm trying to say here. So let's go with checkout page. Let's just grab this one, looks good enough. Launch builder. So this is gonna be one click example, order form. And I'll just do no category in particular. I do recommend keeping your pages organized because if you get a lot of funnels and pages going on, your Kartra account will get overwhelmed very quickly. I have another account and yeah, I overwhelmed it. I had to spend a couple hours going back through and organizing everything. Anyway, let's go ahead and we're gonna just go publish this page live. Get the page link and let me save this link real quick. I'm not gonna use any custom links or anything like that. So we're just roll with the links we got. So I got, what is this? My order form page, this link right here. Cool. Close and return to dashboard and exit. And then I need an OTO page. So let's add another page. Let's see what they got. Upsell pages. We will roll with this option. Good enough. Launch builder. So this is one click example. Uh, uh, OTO. No category in particular. Create. And I'll go ahead and publish live. Get the page link, we'll go ahead and copy it, paste it in my notepad document over here on my other screen. Close, return to dashboard, exit. And then let's create an order success page real quick. So order success checkout page. Let's see if they got anything that would suit our needs. Coming soon, product review checkout pages maybe. I think that this is the order form pages. Yeah, that's our all order form pages. So let's just pick a, oh, a thank you page. There we go. Um, sure, whatever. We'll just go with this option, launch builder. So one click example, Su success. No category in particular, create. Success page. And let's grab publish live, get the page link, copy that, paste it in my notepad document, close it, and then return to dashboard and exit. All right, so I got my three pages for my three page funnel. Now let's go ahead and set up some products real quick. And we'll do a new product. And this is gonna be the main product. One click main, next. And I'm just gonna go real quick through this process. I'll cover anything that's important here. Keep it private, share credit card. Good, confirm. Come up here, confirm. Save and next. Pricing, five dollars for life, whatever. Description, five bucks. Sure, default price, confirm. No shipping, no sales tax, not gonna mess with the refund policy. Content, so this is the product's main index page, so let's go ahead and assign our page real quick. No category in particular, one click order form, confirm. Thank you page, we wanna set this as our OTO page. So that way we can make our offer. So this is the, the page they see after they check out, so which would be our OTO page, makes sense, right? Save and next. 
So check out, so our checkout page look and feel, we don't need to mess with this on our initial product. So I'm gonna leave all this stuff alone. Now we would mess with it. We will mess with it on our OTO product. So no, no, no changes there. Customer list, you definitely wanna assign that type of stuff. Accessing products, obviously wanna assign those things. Again, just trying to fly through this real quick just to show you the one click upsell functionality because that's the main element here. All right, so we got our main product set up. Let's go back to products. Product configuration is incomplete. Okay, maybe we don't have it set up. So let's pop back in here and see what I failed to set up. Post sale. Okay, so we do got to deliver the product. Kartra makes sure of that, so that's good. Can't forget to set that up. Skip ahead. So post sale. So what do we, what am I missing? Oh, I'm still on checkout. So save and next. All right, right here, accessing our product. No access page. Okay, confirm. Save and next. All right, now I think our product's all set up. Let's come back to products. So one click main. All right, now we gotta add our OTO product. So one click OTO. And this would of course would be an upsell or downsell product, right? Makes sense. What funnel is this going in? Our one click main funnel. Next. And let's just fly through this real quick. Confirm. Save and next. Pricing. $10 for life. $10. Cool. Not going to mess with any of those other settings. Content. So what page do we want to show them after they buy this product? Uh, we'll take them to our success page, right? That's our funnel. We go to our success page. Makes sense. Confirm. Save and next. So our checkout page here, we do want to make a change. So under express checkout, we want to change this since this is an OTO offer. So we'll hit change and we want to go ahead and yes, activate straight through payments. All right. So that's one of the key elements you need to change is you need those straight through element or the straight through payments in order to do a one click upsell. If you don't want it to be one click, you can do activate one click confirmation and it'll pop up a little message like, Hey, are you sure you want to buy this OTO offer for $10? So that's the difference here. If you want to pop up a, a question or not. All right. And we don't want to, we want one click upsell. So we're going to select that option. Come on down, save and next. Post sale, remember we gotta go ahead and assign this. So we'll just do no access page, save and next. And save and next. And let's just pop back out here real quick, make sure. All right, so it looks like the products are good to go. So now we gotta go to our pages and actually assign our products to those pages. So let's pop up my pages. We got our order form. Let's go ahead and edit it, edit. Wait for it to load. All right, let's connect our form here. So click on our form, click the little pencil button. So what product funnel? We got one click main, select our product. We got our one click main product, select our price point. We only have one price point, so we'll select price point one, hit apply. Applying. All right, so there we go. We are good to go here, publish live close and return to dashboard and exit and now our OTO page edit edit all right let's come on down here to our button so we got yes I want to upgrade so let's hover over this button here till we get our little pencil icon and click on it pops open our configuration options. Let's click on link. And we want to go ahead and pop a product checkout. And we want to select our funnel. And we want to select our product, which is our OTO product. We want to select our price point. And then we want to go ahead and select the use the default Kartra checkout page. 
All right, we want to check this option. This will enable the one-click upsell option. If you select this option right here, use an overlay pop-up checkout form, it's going to pop up a message saying, do you want to buy this OTO offer for $10 or whatever you priced it at, obviously. So similar to that other option that I mentioned three minutes ago. Um, so even if you had the, the straight through payment selected and you selected this, it'd pop up a form. So if you don't want to pop up a form, use the default Kartra checkout page. That is an important thing to note because you think you do this one, but no, you want to use the default Kartra checkout page. So we'll hit apply. All right, so that is connected now. Now we need to go ahead and of course connect our no button, right? We got to give people the option to say no. So we'll hit the little pencil icon and we'll go to link here and we want to link to another Kartra page and I'm going to link to my success page right because whether they say yes or no to this one click option they're still going to our order success page right so let's go ahead and connect that we don't want to open it in a new tab hit apply all right and publish live and close and let's return the dashboard and exit and then let's go ahead and test our funnel right so let's come up to products real quick and turn it into test mode so let's flip this switch. We are now in test mode. Let me grab my order form link and go incognito. And let's visit our order form page. And so here's our product, Nathan Williams, support at crazyimarketing.com. That looks right, United States, Virginia. All right, five bucks. Let's hit the button. Here's our OTO page. Now we got this I'm not interested option. And I'm just gonna hold control and pop this up real quick, see if it takes us to our success page, which it did. Okay. And then we have our yes button right here. So if I click this button, it should be one click upsell. So let's click this button and see what happens. Connecting to secure payment server, please wait. And we're brought to the success page. Real quick, if somebody somehow randomly decided to come to your OTO page, let me grab that link real quick and pop it up. Actually, let me close out of all my incognito windows and let's use a different browser just to be, just to be safe. So we'll go straight to the OTO page. So if somebody randomly pops onto your OTO page, let's see what happens with these people. If they click the yes, I wanna upgrade button, so they click yes, I want to upgrade, connects them to a secure payment server, and they're brought to the Kartra default order form page. So if you want to customize this a little bit, you'll go into the product settings. Let me just point it out real quick in case you want to edit it. So we'll go to our OTO product because that's the order form page we want to go ahead and edit. But in doing this, it's pretty cool. So if you want to link people that bought your initial offer but did not buy your OTO and you want to link them directly back to that OTO offer, you can. So that's a pretty cool thing. You can insert them right back in the funnel where they where they left off. So that's pretty cool. You can't do that with some other tools. And we got to come out to the checkout page real quick. And right here, your checkout page look and feel, this is where you want to edit the look and feel of this page right here. And also you could go ahead and add your header logo to the page as well. So that's just something to note, um, how you can change these various pages if you wanna link people directly into the middle of your funnel. And so that's it for this video. We've gone over how to set up a one-click upsell with Kartra.